So today I thought I'd make a video about perfectionism. Perfectionism is something that has uh, plagued me my entire life. And uh, ultimately perfectionism is an illusion. We have this desire to make sure that everything goes the way we intend, that everything goes correct, that we are right, that we win, that we succeed. Uh, but ultimately, this is an illusion. And uh, this is a topic I wanted to talk about for quite a while, but I procrastinated because I wanted to make it perfect. So I thought, fuck it, I'm just going to record something, and it might turn out to be utterly rubbish, but uh, it's better to uh, make some rubbish and put it out there than uh, do nothing at all, right? So... So that's why I am recording this video today. And let's get back to perfectionism. So it's this illusion, right? It basically controls our lives. It controls um, what we do in the situation. And when you think about it, for something to be good, let's say you're making, um, writing an essay, let's say you are typing out a message or an email to somebody, uh, they can understand the gist of that email um, if you spent, you know, like five, maybe f like 50 seconds on it. Um, but instead of spending 50 seconds, you spend like five minutes, right? Getting everything fucking perfect, getting all the full stops and the capitalizations and all that stuff perfect. But it was a waste of time, right? They could have understood what you were trying to convey in those 50 seconds to type that regular email. But you spend all that time doing all the extra stuff. Now, um, it comes down to this whole, like, 80% rule, right? Like, 80% of... Um, eight, sort of, like, putting in 80% of the effort will give you most results, and that extra 20%... Um, it's going to take you a long time to, to get yourself from 80% to 20%. Uh, and the benefit that 20% is going to really give you is, uh, you know, not that important, right? It's not as important as the 80%. And so, yeah, through our lives and through my life, this has affected me where I want everything to um, pretty much be perfect and the way it is. It um, needs to go out. I also say that a lot of perfectionism comes from self-criticism. Uh, it's coming from a place where uh, you aren't good enough, right? What you create or what you do is uh, not sufficient. And so because it's not good enough just to do what you are doing, um, you really want to um, do it even better. And so you spend a lot of time trying to make everything perfect. Um, but that's just coming from this um, place of, hey, I'm not good enough. I need to figure it out. I need to uh, add more to it. And so if you want to dissolve some of that perfectionism, I think there's a few areas you can work on. So uh, firstly, it's that agitated feeling you feel while working, that agitation that is arising, um, that is you know you desiring um to get to the end rather than enjoy the process enjoy as as it arises and so really uh it's about noticing that agitation that uh need to succeed you know uh and if you can notice the need to succeed maybe um or actually uh, you'll become more conscious of it and it will start to go away. You'll start to move in the right direction, which will be really good. The second thing is uh, realizing that it is, it, perfectionism is an illusion. You can never complete anything. It's all arbitrary and you will always be able to put more time into something. And um, it's really about, is it worth putting that time in, that extra time in? Now, if you are in a situation where you are delivering for people, and this is uh, maybe perhaps where um, it affects a lot of people or simply people have been trained to um, 
trying to become more perfect because of experiences in their past where they've had to be uh, more perfect um, or deliver to people and they've been, you know, maybe hurt because of, um, because or judged or the work's been criticised. Um, and so if, if you're coming from that perspective, um, it's about resolving and dissolving those uh, fears that you might have towards other people's views of your work. So if you feel like somebody can judge your work, um, so let, let's say you decide, you realize that your perfectionism is coming from uh, people who could judge your work or they have judged your work in the past, it's coming from that place, uh, then figure out how to uh, let go of uh, the need for approval, the desire for that approval, which is coming from that place of like desire for safety, desire for security, desire for approval from those people. You know, can you let go of desiring that approval uh, from those people? And if you can, uh, then I think what you'll find is that perfectionism, perfectionism is no longer tied to those people and um, it's going to become a lot easier for you to uh, become conscious of it and let go, let it go. I would say then, um, so those are those two. And then thirdly, um, you just need to start taking action. So right now for me, just because I have been such a perfectionism on procrastination kind of frame, uh, for a lot of my life, um, I'd say I probably have dissolved most of those like internal blocks or like caring uh, if other people are going to like like this video or not or even going to watch it, I don't know. Um, but but a big, bigger one um, for me is still that final like actually doing the work because I could be like, oh yeah, I'll do it when I write a fucking script and when I get the time to do it and when everything is really smooth and I can do some time, spend some time like editing it and making it really clean and popping and, you know, interlinking, interweaving different like clips and things like that. I can like, you know, you can really spend a lot of time in this. I, I spend a lot of time, for example, editing some of my previous meditation, those two meditation clips I posted, which were a lot of fun to, med to edit actually, but it took a lot of time, right? It took a lot of effort. Um, and so I, I could fall into that um, frame really easily where it's like, oh, I want things to be like really good, like amazing. I want to put out some amazing work. You know, I kind of put out some some rubbish, uh, like perhaps this video is. I don't know. Let me know down below. Uh, so um, I can fall into that frame. So it's really about the final final step is like, hey, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just going to like take the first step and do something, take that action, and actually, like, deliver, go end to end. I think that's why maybe in software, um, they have that whole agile thing where every single sprint or every single, you know, time period you want to deliver, you want to continuously deliver, and that makes people um, slowly iterate and stop people from, like, getting into those cycles of, like, Oh, we need to finish everything to the specifications. Like now, it's kind of like, hey, let's just make something. Uh, let's make something really small and brief, and let's actually finish it. And let's just kind of like deliver it, put it out there. If these bugs in the system, we can fix that later. Now, obviously, it's not always the best approach. Um, like if like people complain all the time about oh, video games come out, and then like two days later, they like release all these bug fixes and stuff, right? But I guess it does help them develop the game. It helps them get the the um, video game out quicker, stuff like that. So trade-offs, right? Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to say is the importance of like delivery, importance of like getting it out there. And so uh, if there's something you've been putting off, which I'm sure there has been, uh, my advice or, you know, my yeah, my advice for you if you take this challenge, if you accept this challenge, is for in the new year, 2023, to, was I'm recording this in the last day of 2022, um, my advice is for you to uh, do that thing that you are procrastinating on and it's like, do it, you know, put it out there. So 
yeah i hope you learned something and let me know what you think in the comments below peace